Welcome to Lourinha, the Portuguese Jurassic Park. Lourinha is such a place that doesn't require any words to describe it. We just have to enjoy it, especially in a beautiful sunny weather. But there is actually one thing in Portugal that makes me crazy. The weather. It's so freaking changeable. You know, man! When we went out early in the morning from home, the weather drastically changed. Lourinha, Portugal. But when we got to Lourinha, the sun went out again. Warm, sunny, beautiful and cozy place. Lourinha is well known as the capital of the dinosaurs. And it really is due to the discoveries of fossils in this region, the silver coast of Portugal. Lourinha is a municipality with 11 counties, located in Oeste region at about 60 kilometers distance from Lisbon. One of the biggest attractions here is the Church of Santa Maria do Castelo. The name of this castle derives from the fact that it was built along the walls of the ancient castle. It is classified as a national monument, and it's really amazing. Look at this. The capital of the dinosaurs. Some of them you can see in the National Museum of Lourinha. You can also walk through the dinosaur route. This is a 10 kilometers route that connects a museum of Lourinha to the fortress of Paimogu. And Lourinha is actually a big region which consists of several small villages or coastal towns, in one of which, Praia Rei da Branca, we are now. One of the main attractions of Lourinha is Praia da Areia Branca, a very sought after place by vacationers. Praia da Areia Branca is a central beach with a white sand from 20 km long shoreline, attended mostly by youngsters and surfers. There are a lot of hostels and hotels nearby. You can always choose any of them. One may practice several nautical sports such as underwater, fishing, surf, windsurfing, etc. We live now in one of local surf camps here and you might have probably seen an interview with a surf camp owner, Daniel. Uh, my whole life, uh, so it was always a big dream of mine to open a surf camp. So yeah, Praia Rei da Branca or Lourinha is a perfect spot for uh, people who uh, want to retire here, for digital nomads, uh, because it's peaceful, it's uh, very sunny, it's uh, near to the ocean. It is a coastal town with lots of cafes and bars and restaurants on the beach. Uh, actually, there are several beaches here. There are a lot of great uh, surfing spots because it's like a silver coast of Portugal near Peniche. 13 kilometers from Peniche. You might have seen one of the episodes from there and it's actually like one of the popular uh, episodes of mine for now. Actually subscribe to my channel because I started it a month ago and I eager to grow our community of digital nomads. So pretty good infrastructure but anyway you should obviously have a car to make your lifestyle more convenient to the Peniche, as I said, 13 kilometers to the Lisbon, uh, approximately 60 kilometers. So apparently you will have to have a car or at least a motorcycle or scooter. But actually for me it's not the best choice because I want to be more close to uh, civilization, I should say. Praia Rei da Branca and Lourinha and Casal da Murta and uh, other small towns in this uh, Lourinha region is pretty walkable, so you can just walk uh, wherever you want and you will uh, see beautiful and picturesque uh, spots and places and landscapes uh, and the ocean views uh, and it's pretty good, I should say. And Lourinha is also famous for its alcohol producing. Quality brandies are produced in this area since the 20th century. Having the demarcated region of Lourinha been created here for the defense of the product's quality. Unfortunately, I haven't found any brandies in their shops, but maybe it is you who will find them and buy it. Let me know in comments if you do. 
the economy is primarily based on fishing, agriculture and increasingly of a tourism. We're having some chill now uh, and I want to tell you about skate park in Lurinia because I already filmed one of the episodes of mine there and oh. I think you will like it. That is how George uh, invites me to have some lunch. Just kidding, but I'm starving, so we gotta find some place where we can have our lunch. In addition, you can always bring some food and have your lunch in such a nice parks. Guys, and this is Lurinia's city hall, and this is Ukrainian flag. And I'm so proud to be Ukrainian. And remember guys, you can help Ukraine from any country in the world with just one click. I put the link below the video. You definitely want to visit it, guys.